Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So we're gonna be talking about Xfinity Wi-Fi splitting. So the router comes with the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bundled together. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to separate those two. So that way you have a 2.4 gigahertz and a five gigahertz. This is great for activating new devices that can only connect to 2.4 gigahertz. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off your X5 pods. I don't actually own these, so I can't tell you exactly how to do it, but I do believe that you go to devices and then you'll see pods, you click on them and you go through the deactivation process. If you don't do this, the next step will not work at all. Okay, so this is gonna show you what version I'm using. <laughs> this app changes constantly. So here's my version right here. Take a moment to look at that and compare it to yours. If it's not the same version, then this might not look the same. So just an FYI, these apps are always changing the layout. I don't know why Xfinity does it like this. Okay, let's fire up the XFi app. If you don't have this app, you should download it. It is an essential app for anyone who uses Xfinity routers. All right, at the bottom, you're gonna see network with those Wi-Fi bars. Go ahead and click on that, and then that's gonna bring you to the next page. You're gonna click on the pencil in the top right corner. Once you click on that, you're gonna be taken to the page where you can split the Wi-Fi. All right, so in the top right corner, there's an empty box. If you click on that, it will check it, and then it's gonna split your Wi-Fi. Okay, so now you have the 2.4 gigahertz and the five gigahertz. This is essential for anyone who's trying to add a new device that only accepts 2.4 gigahertz. So once you've done this, you just hit apply and you are good to go. And then it's just as easy to change it back. You go back here, you, you uncheck the top box and boom, you are back to just, and that's it, you're all done. It's that simple. All right, there you go. That's the Wi-Fi splitting. Hopefully this video helped you. Hopefully it fixed your problem, got you on your way to a better home and a better Wi-Fi connection. If you like this video, definitely smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos by me and you wanna join the at-home family, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you, I'm on my way to 1K. Yes, I'm close, well, I, I feel close. I'm almost to the halfway point and I'm so excited. I can't, woo, so excited. But as always, I thank you so much for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So in this video, I'm gonna explain how to split your Xfinity Wi-Fi from 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz blended to 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz separated.